What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today we're coming in with a banger of a video, an absolute hoot and a holler. Hope you guys enjoy this one, drop a like if you do, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and also, we have got new merch out now, but listen, the merch site has been suffering quite a few DDoS attacks, the haters are hating in full force, so there's gonna be a few different links in the description for you guys to go to if the main URL does not work. For the past week or two, the site's been getting DDoSed every day, but it don't matter. The new merch drop is here, baby. And also, the grinders come out this Saturday, April 9th at 4.20 p.m. Pacific. If you guys want more details as well as the link on where to book markets, so you can purchase the grinders. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, which is linked on my merch website or in the description. We've got water bottles. We've got new shirts, new hoodies, all sorts of stuff. Stay hydrated with the goblin water bottle thank you guys for supporting the merch and making it possible and also once again don't forget to follow me on all my other socials linked in the description and without further ado let's dive into the video so this is a remake of a very old video that's been private for a really long time. I assume that the vast majority of people here right now have never seen this video because this video is almost six years old and has been private for about five years now, give or take. I mean, this is an ancient artifact video. So I figured we would pull this out and remake it because... I found this one to be a pretty good story, and also I kind of wanted to talk about the effects of combining these two drugs. So, as the title states, obviously I did some blow while I was tripping, and this was actually my first time doing this, all the way back in 2016. I was still in my junior year of high school, and I was still going to the alternative school with my friend Ashton at the time, and... On this particular day, he had hit me up after we got out of school and asked if I wanted to hang out. Now, obviously, I was down for that, and just a couple days prior, I had actually bought a couple tabs from him. So I was already ready to rumble. I was excited. I hopped in the car, and I went over to his house, and it was maybe like 3 p.m. at this point. We had just gotten out of school. Like, I had just gotten home when this guy hit me up. So I hop in the car, and I drive over to his house, and on my way over, I dose both of my tabs. I'm like five minutes away from his house down the street, and I'm like, yo... We're going to be here a while. I'm tripping balls. Now, he hit me up and asked if I wanted to play some Counter-Strike, so I brought my laptop with me, too. And we didn't really have much of a plan on this particular day. We were kind of just going to trip balls, play some Counter-Strike, and that was really it. He had no one else home at his house, and he had a super nice house. I mean, this guy's family was Ballin'. I don't know what the fuck kind of soprano shit his dad did because the guy, no one ever knew what he did and he was never around. But god damn it, they had the sickest house out of any of my friends I've ever had. Like, I shit you not, this guy genuinely lived in a mansion. Like, it was insane. So, I went over to his house, we would go over there fairly often to hang out, and... You know, I get there and it's just him there. We go up to his bedroom and I set up my laptop and we're chilling for a bit. And I mentioned to him that I already dosed my tabs. He started laughing. He was like, yeah, nice. I've, I've been tripping all fucking day already. This guy was an animal. For those of you guys who are newer to the channel, you might not be super familiar with Ashton. But he was a longtime friend of mine back in high school. Very good friend of mine. He actually passed away a little over five years ago now. But he was a very, very good friend of mine. Um... All the way until he passed. And he was an animal. I mean, when I when I say, like, this guy was a real druggie, I mean it. I have never seen someone do drugs like he did and still function. Like, it's not like he would just be sitting at home strung out. Like, no. This guy would go to school. He would get shit done. This guy would code while he was fucked up. This guy was like a mad scientist when it came to drugs. And he would be on every day, whether it was ketamine, some opiates, acid, he would be on something from the moment he woke up to the moment he went to bed. I mean, this guy was crazy with it, right? So, he, he made me look like I was borderline sober. I mean, and that's crazy to think about because I was a fucking tweaker back then but either way so I went over to his house and he'd already been tripping all fucking day and I had just dosed so we get into our first game of counter-strike and we start playing a little bit and by the end of the game I was coming up pretty hard I was like yo 
fuck yeah, dude, I'm feeling good. His tabs were always so fire. I mean, he had the best tabs I've probably ever done in my life, and consistently. And I just always had a good trip on his shit. So I was feeling the come up, and I felt that euphoria start to come over me. And I remember the visuals getting nice, you know, and even though we were inside, I remember it was still a really nice day outside, and the light coming in from his bedroom windows was super bright and super nice, and it was just gorgeous. I mean, the vibes were on point, you know? Now, the only thing holding me back this trip was I didn't have any weed. I mentioned that to Ashton. I was like, yo, you know anyone who could, like, come serve or something? Because he was on probation at this point, and he didn't really smoke. He smoked, like, once a month, literally the day he got drug tested, right after the test, just because it was the only time he could smoke without worrying about pissing dirty for his next test. So... He, this guy would smoke literally once a month, but I was still, well, I, I guess this phase never really ended for me except for when I was on probation, but I, I was still heavy daily smoking all day long, right? I still am to this very day. In fact, I'm stoned out of my fucking mind right now, but that's beyond the point, all right? Back on topic. So, I ask him if he's got anyone who can bring some weed through for me, and he's like, I, I could ask around, but if you want, we could do some coke instead. Now... I was intrigued by this for a couple reasons. First off, I hadn't done very much cocaine at this point in my life. I'd only done coke, like, a few times at this point. I mean, maybe not a few. It was probably, like, I'd say 10, give or take, at this point. However, compared to the amount of cocaine I did later in my life, that is absolutely nothing. I got to the point where I was doing coke 10 times a fucking day. Way more than that. So, I mean, 10 times total is rookie numbers at this point, right? But I had also never done it while tripping, so I was intrigued when he suggested it, and I said to him, I was like, well, how the fuck does that make you feel? Now, he described it in a way that was very different than what I experienced, you know? I I don't know if maybe it's just because it affected me personally differently, maybe he took a different dose of acid than me, but the way he described it is he was like, yo, imagine if you took your trip and put it in hyperdrive. He's like, you're feeling more euphoria, the visuals are cool. And I was sitting there and I was like, well, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I'm down. Now, that is not at all how it affected me. But that's how I went into this expecting it to be. So he chopped up quite a few lines. He chopped up probably three or four lines on his desk. And, you know, how, how the room was kind of laid out is he had a tiny little desk he was set up on. So I was on, I was sitting on his bed with my laptop and he was sitting at his desk. So I'd have to get up and, you know, put my laptop aside and go do a line. So he did his first line and then he called me over. He was like, yo, come take this shit. So I came over and I took a line. Now, At this point, I was really coming up. Even before doing the line, I was really coming up. Because it had been maybe an hour and a half since I dosed, right? I'd been at his house for an hour and a half, almost two hours, I'd say. So I was really, really on the come up. I mean, I was starting to enter my peak a little bit. And... I didn't really know how this coke was going to affect me. So I did the first line, and I went and I sat back down. And not even a couple minutes passed, and I already started feeling different. Now, as Ashton had told me, the euphoria that I was feeling got really intense. I mean, I almost felt happiness pumping through my fucking veins. It was crazy. I was giggling at the dumbest shit, laughing my ass off. However, the visuals were way, way toned down. I mean, prior to doing this line, I was having really dope visuals. I don't know if it was the coke or the tabs or what it was, but after doing this line, my visuals got much more tame. I mean, I was still having tracers and colors were still enhanced, but... No more was there patterns on shit. No more did it look like the walls were moving. It was more like the color of the walls were brighter and out the window looked still cooler and brighter, but, you know, nothing was really moving or shifting or looking alive like it normally does on your come up. It brought my visuals down quite a few notches. The other thing that I found interesting about it was the mental effect. Yeah, I felt a lot more euphoria, and there was dopamine flowing all through my fucking body. However, I was able to think 
you know, I almost want to say more clearly, because whenever I, I dose on acid, and especially on the come up, I almost become like an inbred. I almost become like 50 IQ points uh, less than I normally am. I can think and do basic tasks, but I can't really like actually plan things out or do any complicated tasks. I have almost this this fog in my brain whenever I dose, but it's not necessarily a bad thing, and I don't mind it. It's just I'm aware that I can't do very much, you know? And I, I'm not... My sentences are very short and stupid and to the point. Now... Once I did this line, I almost felt this mental fog get lifted. It was weird because I knew I was tripping, and in my body, I felt it. But in my mind, I did not feel it. I was much more coked out in my mind than I was tripping, and it was a really strange experience. It was... It was really cool at the same time, though, because I appreciated the fact that I maintained that kind of dopamine happiness effect that acid gives me. Personally, that's one of my favorite things about tripping. Like, sure, the visuals are cool. Sure, you could talk about some dumb shit. The giggles are cool. But just that genuine euphoria. It's strange, but I almost get more satisfaction out of doing acid and more happiness than I do Molly. I don't know if it's just because I really fucking love acid and I'm huge into it or what it is, but I, I just get such a like such a rush of joy whenever I'm having a good trip. And this Coke definitely amplified that. It's like it took all the visual and mental effects and just squished them into my fucking veins and said, yo, let's feel good. And I'm not going to lie. I was feeling great. I loved it. And I was starting to perform better on Counter-Strike, too. I mean, I'm doing fucking great now, dude. I'm smoking, kids. So we're chilling out for a little while longer. And, you know, maybe maybe another hour went by. And I noticed that the euphoria feeling was starting to calm down. However, my visuals weren't really returning. I was definitely coming down off the coke, but it felt like it was bringing the acid trip down with it, you know? In a weird way, the coke almost made me come down a little bit, and I didn't really like that. So I, I mentioned to Ash, and I was like, yo, do you have any more tabs? Like, can I, can I cop one off you or some shit? And he's like, yeah, I got you, no problem. You want to read those? So we both redosed again together. He gave me another tab free of charge. He's the homie, and we both fucking redosed again. Now that redose sent me to Zupiter. It's like, you know, the initial two tabs, tabs that I took as I was pulling up to his house, they were like loading up the rocket with fuel, but we made an air and there wasn't enough fuel. So the cocaine brought us back to earth. And that extra tab was the last bit of fuel. Cause I went straight to fucking Mars all the way to Jupiter. I met Zachary Zupiter up there. Okay. The king of that fucking planet. I'm talking out of my mind. I spent all fucking night at this dude's house. His parents came home at one point, later into the night, and we were still sitting there, just twacked out of our fucking minds. His mom came in the room and said hello at one point, and I looked at that woman, and I must have had the craziest look of horror, because she left very promptly. I remember I was just staring at her, I was like, yo, his parents are home? And I was like a little nervous for a second, but I could just only imagine the look on my face with my fucking bowling ball pupils. I mean, she came in and dipped out immediately, and left us the fuck alone alone for the rest of the night. Now, later into the night, you know, I was starting to come down a little bit and I really wanted to smoke. So I started hitting people up. I was Snapchatting everybody trying to find some weed. I mean, I was fucking desperate. Now, I was looking all over the place because, you know, the coke was cool, but I didn't really want to kill my trip quite yet and do that again. I was waiting to do coke again, do another line later on in the night. Ashton had been continually doing lines this entire time, but after that first one, I kind of stopped for a little bit and was like, you know, I'm just going to enjoy my trip for now. So... I'm hitting people up left, right, and center trying to find some weed. And finally, I find someone who's willing to drive and serve. So they do. They pull up, and they, they pull up into the cul-de-sac that Ashton lived in. And I popped out of his house and ran and grabbed a little 20-sack. I mean, some bullshit, dude. Trash-ass weed, okay? But you know what? You couldn't be picky back then. At that age, I didn't have the plugs like that, dude. I can't be picky. He could put some Reggie in my hand, and I'd fucking smoke the shit out of that weed, you know? I would was not a picky guy back then. I couldn't afford to be either. So I grabbed the 20, sw 20 sack, pardon me, and I went back into Ashton's house and I realized that I had no fucking wraps. So I'm sitting there and I bring it up to him. I'm like, yo, bro, 
um, do you have any, any like wraps or something? And he's like, no, but I have this bowl you can use. I smoke fucking synthetics out of it a lot. You know, he gives me this bowl and it is just filthy. I mean, crusty, dusty fucking bowl. And I've hit this thing before. I just didn't expect him to pull this out. I was hoping he had something else, but I had no choice. He throws me a lighter and gives me the bowl. And he's like, yeah, just go stand like out back or something. If my parents aren't downstairs, you know, otherwise just go, go to your car or something shit so I grab the bull I grab the bud and I take the lighter and I go stand out front because his parents were still downstairs so I go stand near my car outside and I spark up this bull right I packed up just some swag dude and even despite how trash this weed was it still elevated my trip I was coming down pretty smoothly at this point, but after ripping a couple bulls out of this, I was right back on the rocket ship. I mean, the visuals were kicking right back in. I had come down quite a bit prior to this bull, and I wasn't really seeing shit besides, once again, enhanced colors and maybe slight pattern movement, you know? After this bowl, it was full throttle again. I mean, full on beautiful visuals. So I went back inside and chilled out and played more Counter-Strike. Now, Probably, uh, I'd say another 30 minutes went by. We only played one more game, and he offered me another line. He was like, yo, I only have a little bit of this shit left. Let's just, let's go out with a bang. You know, let's take some fat fucking lines. So he chopped up four lines, two for each of us. And he does his two, and then he passes me a bill and, you know, kind of motions for me to do my two lines. So I oblige. At this point, you know, I, I was still tripping pretty good, but I was kind of down to wrap it up. It was getting late at night. I'd been at this dude's house for a good, like, fucking eight hours at this point, you know? So I was like, okay, uh, I'll do some blow, you know, maybe bring me down a little bit. So I did those lines. And once again, just like earlier, but not quite as intense, that euphoria just started shitting on my veins, dude, in a good way, in a good way, just flowing through me, that fucking rush, dude, that just, ah. But I mean, mentally and visually, completely smacked down out of the air. I mean, I am like a grounded airplane mentally and visually. There is almost no trip activity going on anywhere except deep in my heart, in my soul, if you will, you know? So those lines... As crazy as it sounds, really helped, you know? Uh, I mean, obviously, they didn't bring it down in a way that Xanax would. I think they more so just altered the trip experience, you know? Maybe bringing me down is probably the wrong term for it. They just really changed what the trip was like in a way that was pretty cool, honestly. Would I recommend doing this? No, honestly, because it, Coke is expensive and it kind of kills your trip. So... I, it's kind of a waste, but you know, it's something cool that I tried and felt like I should make a video about. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the new merch drop available now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, gamers.